Hey there Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for May 22nd to the 28th. Let's jump straight in Gemini and see what may be on the cards for you for the week and that message begins with have faith in your dreams. This is the waxing crescent moon card and you know maybe you've been losing faith in a hope or dream or you know maybe you're thinking it's out of your reach. Well spirit is saying it's time for you to actually ramp up the action to set new intentions and have faith that you can achieve whatever that dream is for you. So that is a beautiful message right there. Let's get you a guiding tarot energy at Gemini. So what else do we have to build on this dream? What do we have? We have got justice. Interesting. We've got Libra energy coming through. You may be dealing with a Libra. Now you might be needing to call time on something here that's a block to your dream. You might be needing to make a justice call, a judgment call, or you might be waiting for some kind of decision that might have an impact on you having faith in your dreams. Maybe there's a legal component to it. Maybe you're waiting for a settlement. You know, that can be with the justice card. There can actually be a contractual or legal um, component. Sometimes this really is just about making a very clear decision on something here that maybe is going to propel you towards your dream and bring things back into balance. The Libra energy is very associated with getting crystal clear and laser focused on where you're headed and then sometimes you need to take that sort of justice to what might be blocking the path. I'm just seeing someone going through the forest and they're you know using that machete to get the vines out of the way. What are your vines blocking your path to some kind of dream that you have? Well Spirit is saying it is tea for time to sharpen up that machete and start carving your path. Okay well let's get your cards out to build on this message here Gemini. Uh, if you would like a personal reading you know what to do follow the first link down below to my website grab my free learn tarot quick guide to get started interpreting the cards for yourself or dive deeper with my more immersive paid option which is the initiation I teach a full foundation in tarot in that one um, and my signature reading process follow along on Instagram I am loving it over there daily readings and all sorts of posts going on and I'm doing free little mini personal readings uh, from time to time as well for followers. Okay, let's get these cards out. The story is building for you in just a moment. Gemini, these are your cards and you have a lot of very powerful uh, path clearing energies here. Look at that bottom row. It is like, it is dynamite, okay? Um, but yes, of course, higher up in the reading, we've got the shadowy energies. We have the blocks, we have the obstacles to you achieving that dream. Let's start with the Seven of Cups here. So the Seven of Cups can be a, a dream energy, right? Like you have a powerful vision, you have a powerful dream here. Now it's going to be different for all of you what that dream is. For some of you, it's the dream, the vision for your relationship, how you want to live your life with a partner, family, children. For others of you, this is around your purpose work, this is around your career, the star is here. It's all around life purpose, but we have different life purposes, okay? So the Seven of Cups is the energy of that dream, but there is a fine line between dream and fantasy. And what I mean about that is that if you've got a dream and you feel all that potential there, but if you don't get that laser focus, that clarity and make judgment and justice calls to take action towards it and clear the path with your machete, the dream becomes a fantasy because it's not going to materialize from that place and the energy remains latent potential. So that's why the Seven of Cups is a shadowy energy here because you can believe in the dream, but belief isn't enough. Okay, so sometimes with the Seven of Cups, there's blocks. Now the blocks might not be you here, Gemini. It could be that you're dealing with uh, an employer, a, a partner, a bank manager, a business mentor that might be saying all the right things to you or giving you a lot of hope, but you're not seeing the results, you're not seeing the changes, and it feels like maybe the action you know, isn't happening in the right direction to bring it through. So that leads to confusion, right? I've got this dream, I feel like I'm doing things, 
but it's not the right things, it's not happening, okay? And that really does lead you to, to firmly being in that shadowy energy of the moon and having also the deeper fears and worries and anxieties coming up about, well, if not this dream, then what is my life going to look like? Okay, that is the moon where the, the path isn't clear either way. Now, with this energy, we have to look into often our own shadow side where we might be blocking the path, where we might be actually growing and propagating those vines that are blocking the path rather than cutting them away or allowing others that are blocking the path for us okay and it's shadowy because this could be under the guise of somebody who's helping you or you helping yourself so that's the moon energy it's time to shine light on all of the dark corners that, that sun is coming in as the eclipse right the light is going to be shone on that 100 percent and i think there's some clues in this reading i mean the six of pentacles is here and this for me means there's an element of not being in control yourself the emperor is going to fix that for you have faith in your dreams but it also feels like somebody else is in control and how can you take control and move towards your dream when you don't have that power you're not in your power so for example if this is in work career it feels like somebody else is almost in charge of your destiny because they are telling you you know what your workload is or you know when you can move up into that next position how much you can get paid if this is about uh, relationship or having that family life it feels like somebody else is making all the decisions and you're not guiding this from your place of truth so we need to turn the tables here Gemini we really need to turn things around but the six of pentacles says it's possible but see how we see the beggars and the emperor here I feel that there is another emperor in control here but how you turn the tables is by activating Gemini your emperor mode and that means take control step up push back orchestrate make strategic and calculated moves now it all starts with that place of the justice energy getting clear on where you want to go and then seeing the blocks in the path because how can we make calculated moves when we don't know what those moves are so we take a step back the justice energy is the vision that you need okay my dream is this and i am currently here how can i get from here to the dream there's a series of stepping stones and yes there might be a justice call that is part of that or you might be needing to end a contract you might be needing to end a relationship you might be needing to take some side steps strategically but you can get there but we need to come out of the dreamy Piscean Moon energy and Seven of Cups and shine a light. That is how we get there through awareness. There's not really a lot of luck in achieving dreams. My personal you know, belief and opinion here, it's really through awareness and action that is directly aligned to that dream, surrounding ourselves by the right people, the right energy cultivating our own sense of energy which will have us attract in the right people the right opportunities and take major steps towards it that's what the emperor would do there feels like a a milestone here of you being able to set the foundation for that dream in the weeks around these readings of course it's not going to play out in a week but it really is about you know um making the moves that will have this expand um, you know over the next few months for you so the sun is here eclipsing that moon energy and for me I mean that stands for the awareness the light I need to see with all of my eyes my vision my intuitive eye as to where the path is blocked and then I need to take action in order to overcome the challenges to burst through the brick walls to carve out the path to clear the vines and then there is a rebirth, there's a new start, there's a new energy here. And there's a very positive bright future with the sun energy as well. It's Leo energy. So it's about bravery, courage, staying fiery and determined, 
the Leo energy is visionary, but it's also discerning about where to put the energy, where to take the energy out of, and which potential to really, really follow, okay? Um, yeah, it, it feels like there could be an entrepreneurial journey for some of you here, I must say. Well, almost everything is an entrepreneurial journey, isn't it? Even he heading into our relationships, because we're making an agreement to create together. So that's what I, I see with those energies. Now, now, um, the Page of Pentacles is here, and I feel that this stands for some kind of new opportunity or new step or new action that you can take to really uh, initiate this kind of uh, eclipse that I'm seeing here. You know what I mean, right? The eclipse for me in this energy is going from that uh, the darkness and, you know, the, the ignorance of not really knowing what the block is to the light I now see and I can do something about it. That's eclipse energy, it's transformational and it's life-changing and it's fast because all it takes is conscious awareness and maybe also uh, getting out of our own way and being willing to see where we might be blocking the energy. And out of that process is the Page of Pentacles. There's a step in action or something you can do right now that will shift the energy, get things moving in the right direction I always say that the pages are the the step before the aces come in. So this is the, the energetic conditions being set for the ace of pentacles to come in. Now that could be the money you need to get to move towards this dream. That could be a new home. That could be a new job, a new pay rise, a promotion, a new commitment, a new contract, a new client that steps you towards that dream but we're setting up the conditions for it to actually be magnetically attracted we're setting up the the conditions for a pretty major victory here that is for sure so the star is the energy that follows on from the tower in the sequence of the major arcana so the the tower can be a huge epiphany which i think we're looking at here and then we can from that place we can dismantle towers we can strengthen the foundation of a tower uh you know or some some of you might actually have had a tower moment where a situation has kind of imploded and from that from that place, Gemini, you're actually being able to rebuild a new foundation on which to build your dreams. Because the star is a lot about healing as well and rebirthing, which we see as a theme in this reading. It's also a lot about vulnerability to really step towards your inner calling because you're feeling the guidance coming through. And the universe is saying stars are aligning here if you work with this energy. Aquarian energy. You have a unique life path, a unique gift, a unique way of being that needs to be brought to the world. And you will celebrate, right? The Three of Cups is about the, the seeds of potential that we see coming through here. If you work with those and invest in them, soon you will be celebrating you know, the growth and the rewards and the tangible results that they will bring you, okay? No more Seven of Cups where it's all just, uh, you know, pies in the sky. Tangible results. What are the tangible results you're trying to bring in? Is it increased money? Is it, you know, going further in your career? Is it, you know, having conceiving a baby? Is it moving into your own home? The energy is there that soon you will celebrate some kind of victory, but we arrive at the end of the reading, back at your machete, back at your sword of truth, back at the start, where it's about bringing the conscious awareness to the blocks in the path, and then getting to clearing them. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading and this message. I'm, of course, cheering you on and wishing you so much love and magic. Do take very good care. Bye for now.